So we have a start. Here we go. Band time 150. Start time 150. Let's start. I'm making my first prediction that um, uh, sour, sour wet noodles uh, gets an early lich or bench pick, or if Starthrow did their homework, they'll ban it out early. We'll see. Ban one of the two out. I tried to give as soon as I found out how to find out these teams, I told them that they need to disable their Dota buff because it's just it's it's a little it's a little cheap to you know, be looking at your other team. I mean, it's good competitive, and if you know their name, then you can figure out that way. Okay, OD, first ban. All right, I'm glad to see that OD's got first ban. I mean, he's kind of fun to watch, but at the same time, he's a little cheap. The prison's just so strong. ET, first ban. Also, I, I'm okay with that. I think that's pretty good. Clockwork. Okay, this is quick bans. No bonus time. Look at this. I like it. So, let's right, call. So just, just, that, uh, j just from that clockwork ban, I'm expecting... Um... I'm expecting sour wet noodles to pick up a uh, to pick up some um, some some melee carry, um, not an AM with a blink or someone with mobility, mm -hmm. but um, maybe like a life stealer or um, mm -hmm. something like that. Okay, dark seer ban. They don't want any off laners. They're, they're banning out off laners, which you know I'm okay with that. Let's see the first pick. This is the biggest. This is the biggest pick in my mind. This this, this predicates <laughs> Venge Lich. Let's see. There is no Venge or Lich. Bands, we'll see. But if you go, if you go, the thing is, if you go life stealer, oh, lich, very good, good job. Gotcha. <laughs> but it, it's rather obvious. I gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Highest win rate at fifty-seven point some odd percent. He's almost sixty percent win rate since the patch of six point seven nine, which is pretty impressive, you know. But we, you know, we were having yeah. a discussion earlier about that reverb. We were having a discussion earlier, you and I, about lich in. Oh the cons and pros and like being able to take away stunning some of the growth if he goes mid do you think he's mid or is he offlane like this is this is where he plays in is he going to be a four or five is he going to be the mid you know who's going to play him i really i i really think he's going to be in the uh with lich you really want to do a an aggressive tri lane mm -hmm. um just because with his e you can it it boosts the experience for there being three heroes in lane which and, is um, sacrifice yep. yeah 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 it really can make a difference Mm -hmm. Well, the Rubik second pick. I'm okay with this. I love Rubik second pick. We'll see how he plays. He'll be either be the four or the five roll. But now the thing is, you can counter Life Stealer with a um, Razor. So, like, what's the point of showing your cards this early? I understand the Clockwork Band to kind of prevent that from happening, but you can still pick up Razor. So it it really comes down to how this uh, uh, extra sour wet noodles, who I'm going to start calling ESWN because it's a long name. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm the um, they, I, I've never um, and they, they've never picked Razor in any of their team games, even when they've been playing Burst Life Stealer. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really foresee them. Okay, um, Weaver. All right, picking him up. They picked a Weaver. He could go two or one, depends on how you want to play him. Now we're gonna see the second ban phase, which is you know probably the most crucial ban phase, um, because it, this just really cuts out the core heroes, and you can really you can kind of delegate how and the other team's gonna play a little bit, because you can you can either ban properly or or not. So, so we'll we'll see how this ends out. I really like that Weaver paired up, um, um, going against a life stealer. Hmm. On the uh, on the bot lane. Why? Um, just because he can he can get experience um, when when life sealer slows, um, um, he can just Janata or Sakuchi away, um, and uh, on, he he's a really slippery slippery off lane off lane solo. So that's what I anticipate. Okay. Um, happening. So they're definitely going to run an aggressive trial with Lich and I'll Max and PL. I'll bet they. Uh, I'll, so I'll bet they still pick up the venge. What was that? That was raid call. All right. Well, muting raid call. Because, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. If you can tell, we're a little new to this. <clears throat> Bounty hunter and Naga were the bands. I'm okay with the Naga band because I find her to be a pest. I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't seen a Venomancer pick up. I mean, we still are in the ban phase or a ban of the Venomancer. That's a banned Bounty Hunter, which I do like because it does counter Weaver kind of hard, except for the, uh, you do have Weaver's time lapse, which is really nice move, and it kind of does disable dust, and that's what I really like about it. Okay, so they're dis they're banning Initiators, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I like the Batrider ban. I do think the nerf to his base damage is relatively significant, but, I mean, it really only affects your early game. He's still a great, great, Initiator.
Are you here? Ripe. Uh oh. It looks like I have lost. Oh wow, I got lobbed out of steam. Wow. Wow. Guys, this is awful. I just got logged out of Steam. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure what to do with this. I just lost my Steam. <sighs> Ripe has actually disconnected from the game. Remaining. Or is it me that disconnected? Oh, Five no. seconds remaining. No oh, line picked up. So lines picked up in the ban on. Okay, I'm back online. Thankfully, jeez, that was scary. But ripe is gone. He must have dropped. He'll be back in a minute. I'm okay with that. I am gonna have to solo cast for a little bit. Uh, having some technical difficulties. I apologize for that. But we do have a lion pickup, which I do like as they're probably three or four. He could go mid. I've seen lion recently picked up as a mid player with a blink dagger and a rushing ags, which is actually pretty good for initiation. It, it, you know, you can you can stun, then you can hex, and then you can blow your finger, and that's just pretty much a kill if you have enough right click damage. You throw in one or two, three right clicks, and they pretty much can kill any support depending on the level game up to mid. To late game. So while we wait for Ripe to come back and I uh, can't help his Virginia internet and that's in the States so it's kind of silly. Um, we shall wait for Ripe. But we are waiting on the third pick from the Extra Sour Wet Noodles who I'm going to refer to as ESWN. We should see how this plays out. The pick up of Visage. A visage. Visage. He says visage himself, but I kind of like calling him visage. Um, I like that as a four. I really do like his grave chill. I think it's a very good move. And if he can micro really well, like the the familiars can do a lot of stun damage. I do feel like extra sour wet noodles need some more stun, some kind of in, like hold down, lock down, because the lion is really good at that, along with the coping of the Rubik who can lift telekinesis and everything so I mean remaining. he can steal any of the spells given to him so far Five which all of them all, all three characters on extra sour noodles have pretty good spells to steal Razor we'll see time. if this life stealer is going try we're gonna see how this goes they have a pick face for the fourth we're gonna see um, all these people are in the same uni so that's the thing uh, they all have to be going to the same uni in order to play this. This is the UK GL League. It's the first season. This is actually one of the first games to be played. They all, there's, I think right now there's 10 games live, which is pretty impressive. So we'll see how well this goes. This is a pretty long um, tournament, and Perian Flax is actually going to be casting the final grand finale game. Um, I'm your caster, Frog Dog, and my co-caster seems to be having some technical difficulties. The Dota Quota. We shall see when he comes back, and we'll see how this all goes. They pick up a Lone Druid 4th pick. I really like the Lone Druid 4th pick. That's going to be a great offlane. He could rush a Radiance, he can rush a Midas. It's going to be either way. It's going to be very good lockdown. I love the Entangle. It's a little RNG, but you know, at the same time, the RNG can play in your benefit, but it can also be against you. So it depends on how this goes, and we shall see. Mm. I might have to sell this. Ten seconds remaining. Anyway, five we still have a five remaining. second pick with 47s on the bonus timer, so we shall see how this plays out. They're playing into the bonus time. Oh, and they pick up a troll. I like the troll pickup. It Radiant is good. Ban. Late game, there was no ban on the troll, which is understandable. He's pretty decent against Life Stealer. We'll see how that works out. He's not the best against Life Stealer, but he's still pretty good. Um, I do like his Ten ult. His ult is, you know, global, so it's very nice ult. We'll see how they play this. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Still waiting on the ban. Forty seconds left. You know, prediction for ban. Kind of. 
don't want to ban a support, it seems. So, or you could ban a mid. It really, it's kind of, it's, they're all ranged heroes, which is kind of pretty, not unique. It's two range and two melee for Star Throw Hearts, which is pretty balanced, and four ranged for extra sour wet Ten noodles. Seconds remaining. So we'll see how this plays out. They ban a Timber Saw. Pretty good ban. Dire I think that's ban. applicable. Um, it really comes down to how they want to play this. If they want to... It really comes down how the other team wants to play this. Sorry, I've been thrown off my groove pretty hard. My co-caster, if you're just joining in, has disconnected. I think he's having some technical Radiant difficulties. So I'm solo streaming as of now. I'm okay with it. Um, I actually do like the Storm Spirit ban mid because you, you do not have the strongest mid character right now. You could have you could throw Lion mid, as I said, or you could even put Rubik mid, which I'm okay with, but I think Rubik is probably going to be the four or the five. It really comes down to how they're going to play, and we'll be able to tell instantly once the game starts. And as Merlini and you know everyone else says that, that streams a lot and casts a lot, they understand that like it's pretty Ten difficult to remain. actually um, signify the lanes as of now because you could go 2-1-2, two two, you could go 3-1-1. One one. It really depends, but it, it's, in my opinion, relatively evident that the Lone Druid is going Five to be the off laner in this circumstance. Dire the tinker! Team. So the Tinker's mid. I kind of like the pressure. That's pretty good pressure. That frees up the Life Stealer to get a little bit of farm. Same with the Lone Druid because you're going to be sharing the jungle, so you're either going to have to push out a lane so you can farm the lane, or so the, uh, the opposite lane, or however you're going to play this. So... We'll see how extra sour wet noodles goes, and then we are going to go straight into the game. The Tinker is obviously, or he should, rush Ten his remaining. boats of travel or his bots, and we'll see how that goes. If he can Five free that up and get remaining. that before 10 minutes, 7 to 10 minutes with a bottle, and even if he's going Dagoon. The only thing is with the Tinker is that he tops out about 40 minutes. Even if he gets an E-Blade, a level 5 Dagoon, there's only... Se oh, I love it. TA mid. That's a beautiful pickup. I love that. I think that's a great mid. Personally, I think if you can perform on... Right, there we go. We got the Bunny as the Weaver and the Morgan as the Visage. Jung as the, the Lich. And I guarantee you, Dota Quota would have definitely guessed that one. He's been watching him. The standard on Yeah. He's playing the Templar, and I'm assuming mid. I hope I'm not wrong on this. So we, we shall see how this all goes. What are we waiting on? Waiting for the final two picks of Lone Druid and Tinker. See how that will be divvied out. Um, I think that's overall pretty good solid Ten draft and not really going to throw out who I think has the advantage here because right now I'm Five not sure. Remaining. I think this could go either way. It's really how well they play with the TA and how well the TA does versus the Tinker. <coughs> and there my buddy is. <coughs> Sorry about that. Hey buddy. Good to know that wow. you uh, disappeared Whoa. for a while. Yeah, um, Steam just completely crashed on me, dude. Yeah, I thought it was me for a it's second. Pretty, uh, yeah. All right, here we go. And now we are starting. Okay, I'm glad that you are. Are you in the end game? Are you in game? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm reconnecting right now. Uh, are you in the broadcast channel, I hope? Sorry, I have it that I always <coughs> have fun. Did you get in the broadcast channel, I hope? Um... It looked like it, it, it saved the settings, okay, um, just because I I couldn't even I couldn't even find the lobby. I just had to reconnect to the game. Bunch of pings. So. Could just be fun friends pings. Ah, I like the defensive ward. Stop the spawn camp. Pretty good. Thirty seconds to battle. Yeah, sorry about the technical difficulties. Uh, was, uh, it's unfortunate. Right. I don't think people mind too too much. I hope not. Um, we are. There's pings going out everywhere. These teams are silly. I like this courier with the sentry wards on the radiant side. Pings going everywhere. It looks like we are gonna have the Weaver bot. It's a pretty decent start. Starts them out at 61 damage. I'm okay with that. Three branches and a strip of against. agility. Um, they have a dust instantly. Or they have a smoke, so and he went soul assumption. I'm okay with that. I don't know if I that's the best I thing to skill your. All right, side blades for the oh, Templar assassin mid. He knew he was going. Oh, it's actually a lone druid mid. I'm okay with that. With the tinker off. 
Uh, double damage bot. No one even touched it. They're pinging out for top, but it's going to be bot. going to guess wrong here. The stand-in actually had a pretty good... Yeah, I'm going to call him yeah. not going to call him stand-in anymore because that's just rude. <laughs> so, you think your connection's good now? Yeah, yeah, it's looking, yeah, it's looking a lot better. The, um, I'm, I'm really surprised that this uh, this lich um, went off lane um, with this weaver. I, I I anticipate that he'll rotate top just so troll gets a uh, really good farm and he can stack and pull with the, uh, with the bench on lane. But uh, we'll we'll see how, we'll see how they play it. Uh, TA's a two one advantage over mid with the lone druid at one zero. I mean, it's only a second pool wave, so it's okay. I do love side blades. I think it's a great move, and if you can actually uh, position yourself properly, it's very effective. There is a double damage that no one's picked up. Are they holding on to that, or what's going on with that? Double damage is bot. I think I think I think mid is just gonna wait for their bottle, and then um, and then go over go over and snag that. What is Curry? The um, I don't. I really like this. Um, I really like this double ward down here. You you really don't see it a lot. Um, but it really helps out because it not only does it give vision of um, of any ganks on the lane, but it stops their uh, double pull. Mm -hmm. With because um, now because now that the, the small camp has swapped out for the, uh, we have a pause. the medium camp, I it's um. Sure. What were you saying? Go ahead. It's, it's it's definitely not as efficient. Yeah, no, no, no. I understand. I I like that too. That's that's pretty. Without the double Sorry, pull. Weaver needs pause. Okay, I hope he can join the game back in real quickly. Look at the spear bear. It's almost dead. It is literally it has 189 health. He can't summon for another two seconds, so I mean he could pop this pop it if he wanted to, but that bear is getting punished. He only has two last hit to the three and two weaver. I mean to the three and two TA. Uh we have a weaver bot. He's actually doing alright, five and one. But I mean with that much uh last hit damage, I mean sixty three. That's pretty good for a level two weaver. So anyway. How do you like this trailing top for Radiant? The um I like it a lot. Definitely the uh, the slow and both stuns with the hex is really going to put a hurting on troll. Mm -hmm. But like as I said before, I I can almost guarantee this lich um, TP's top just so they can have a de at least a defensive tri lane top. The um, and uh, and deny maybe deny some experience uh, for the radiant because this this tinker is going to play really defensive and uh, especially with laser the um, you shouldn't really have anything to worry about with weaver unless he just overextends. He's pushing on but, the um, Oh, he's going in on him right now. Bottom. Up, oh, Tinker might be dropped. Kill on Weaver. Oh, on might be the, oh, oh, let's see the first. Oh, there we go. That was beautiful. Got him. Got him. Got the first blood. You know, now it would be worth going. Now that it was totally worth uh, Lich coming bot for the first blood. That Tinker got put back a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Just getting first blood, it just throws you off so hard. I mean, he has his bottle, which is very important. Up oh, the bear. Nope, he had to resummon a bear. No, the the bear the is very effective, very effective versus uh, versus TA though, because lone druid can last hit while the uh, initiate bottom. Bear, uh, initiate bottom. Oh, it looks like the team's just gonna go down again. Oh no, he's not getting out of this at all. He got marched machine. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it just dropped. He didn't just... even get off his laser. No, he didn't. He really that's, couldn't have. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. This bottle, this, th there's vision, and no one still picked up the double damage. I, I, I don't know. It just kind of confuses me a little bit. Ta, Ta should pop a bottle charge right now and go get it. Yeah, there's no reason not to. There is no reason not to. She is controlling the lane, and I guess and they, you don't really and want. They, and they've already missed. They've already missed the two minute rune now, because oh. of it. Ta is really weird. Look at this tinker. He just abandoned bot. He said, "Nope, I'm just gonna farm the jungle. Can't, can't keep letting this yeah. happen." I mean that's kind of what you need. Up. Oh. There you go. Lift on, lift on Ruby. There's a lich rotation. Nothing. Let's follow up on that. TA finally got that rune. I'm so happy. Did so you, glad that rune's gone. Did, did you hear what I said? Now, now the top lane has a level four lich. Yeah. In play I, I versus tri lane. Okay. So that's 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 important. That's, that's going to be big. Yeah. Let's see this lich go around. Up. Oh, they see lion ping out. They know what's going on. Is this bear going to back up? He might need to back up a little bit. Yep. There's a bunch of pings coming out. Tinker. Oh, TA just missed just missed her Mr. Mel because Bear was on high ground. Ugh. This Lich is staying there. He's losing a little bit of experience. But you know, he's level four comparatively. 
And we have they can they can possibly get a they can possibly get a gank on Lone Druid if he pushes out too far. And the net worth is actually Weaver's favor. He has the highest net worth. He has 17 last hits, and he is just controlling. Got a Bassy Ring. I'm okay with that. Uh, there's a region top, and it looks like TA is going to grab that. Oh, oh, we have an initiative top. By top. Yep. And the, oh, the life stealer goes down. And it looks like the lion's going to go down, it's gonna too. It's going to be a twofer. A beautiful frost blast. Oh, that is big. That is very big. This is a large... Large disadvantage for uh, ST. Yeah, zero a zero four start, and um, already uh, sour wet noodles has a two thousand um, exp advantage mm -hmm. and uh, almost a two thousand gold advantage. So it's, I mean, it's, it's five showing. minutes. That's, oh no! That's Look at bottom. Watch bottom. He's searching out for the courier. Does he find it? Oh no! The Sakuchi. He's gonna Sakuchi. He's hidden. See this rotation. Lich is mid, but I want to watch this bottom. He's kind of currented himself in. The Weaver's cornered himself in. Into, into the forest yet. You're right. He could. Uh-oh. It looks like initiation on mid. No, not quite. Oh, he's going after the courier. He doesn't get it. He takes the bottle. He's bottle crowing, so he's really slow. Oh, looks like he got two mid. Oh, no. It looks like the Lone Druid's dead mid. He got Lone Druid melded. goes down. Yeah, he got melded, and then he got fro he did not get frostbit, actually. I have no reason to the bear did nothing. I'm really liking the... I'm really like these... I'm really liking these rotations by the by the yeah. dire. This lich is just kind of roaming. Mm -hmm. It's really helping out. This life stealer has not much harm. Honestly, he really doesn't. He's only he's uh, actually middle of his team, second on his team. Seven, overall, seventeen hundred gold on Weaver, and he just bought um he just bought power treads. I'm actually surprised he didn't go ahead and pick up his perseverance. I, uh, you know, that's a, that's a good argument because. But I like the last hits and the speed from the the advantage that you get from the boots, and I and I think that makes last hit a little bit easier. I mean, you do get the ten damage from the perseverance, but you know it's kind of okay. Lich is just eating creeps. Illusion top. Um, we have rotations coming out. There's dusted. Um, Rubik's only level three, so there's not much you can do. Same with the lion. They have to make something happen though. They need a kill. One kill would change this around. They are such a higher level that like if they do get a kill, up oh, the lift on the. Lich and the stun. What are they gonna have? Any follow up? No follow up. Uh, push the TA on in. This life stealer is having some trouble. Oh, he's got great shield and slowed. He has to rage to get out of that. And he seems like he's got a way to the safety. We have bottom. Uh, still just Weaver, just sacking. Only boots. It's look at the look at the last hits denies. It is it is so in the favor of sour wet noodles right now. Oh yeah. It's, they're they're their top three, their their three carries are all are all first. Yeah, which is they're winning and, every single and the denies and the and look at the denies. Mm -hmm. the the yeah. in, the entire the entire radiant team doesn't have as many denies as just as just the uh, the troll. So which uh -huh. is why the exp graph has gone uh -oh. so. In the favor. You have the two supports coming down from st. Um, they're initiating. They're coming down with lich. Oh lich. Oh no. Tinker's dead again. <laughs> Frostblast just owns. It's such a good move. Sakuchi is allowed to do a little bit of damage in the right clicks with the uh, Gemini. Very good. Now we're at top. I'm looking at top. Oh, are we going to have a continued initiation on the bottom? No, looks like the supports. These supports of ST are just roaming. Oh, no. The lion's. The lion might die. No, he, he hexes. Is he going to get away? Is he going to get away? I don't know what he's doing. Oh, no, he's down. Do we even just Sakuchi and then Gemini? There's nothing he could do. I mean... He tried to eat a tango to mitigate some of that damage, but it just wasn't enough. That power treads toggle. That power <laughs> treads toggle. Yeah, that was very nice. <laughs> when he got, when, when he came down from the Rubik, he toggled a strength. I mean, it, I don't think it would have made made much difference. But yeah, it's only fifty some health. But, uh, <laughs> um, TA is gonna get pro the moves, pro moves. Pro moves. It's all about the the small things. They add up. They add up. We have a seven O advantage in ES ESWN's uh, advantage. They're playing very strong right now. They have not lost any of the lanes. Up, 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 up. This is going to be a kill on Life Stealer. Oh, they got the Life Stealer and the TA was able to dive. They're just going to continue diving. Oh no, the lion might go down. Oh, he got so tempted. Oh no, one more, one more. And he ate the tree. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. The inherent crit. Up, oh, the Tinker might go down. I think the Tinker's down. Like a broken record. It would appear He's going to get away. Lich. Oh, wow. I think we're going to see an early GG here. <laughs> early I, GG call. 
I don't know if we're gonna get. I mean, a sub this. I mean, this is this is spiraling. It's quickly spiraling out, of out of control for the uh, for the radiant. Over six thousand, and then the grail graph is just as insane. I mean the I mean the troll right now is diving a lone druid with 200 HP. Mm -hmm. I mean. <laughs> oh, he. he this is, uh, okay, juked. Got juked. His nice trap juke. got juked. Oh, they get the visage. Oh, they get the visage. Actually, they might be going too greedy. Look at this. ESW might have gone too greedy. Oh no, is he gonna get him? Is he gonna get him? The TA got lifted. Entangle on TA. Oh wow. Oh no, are they gonna find her? Wow, good stun. That was smart. Smart by the lion. It was a. It, it was an entangle to cancel the TP. That was a little that was, too that was a lucky entangle. That was, that was pretty greedy, yeah. though. The Weaver's still just farming up, but he's, he's, he can already afford his preserve units if he wants it. If he's going Lincoln's first, which obviously he needs to. The Tinky Tinker keeps pinging. I don't, I'm not quite sure. I guess he wants to stack it? Yeah, he wants to stack it. Smart. Oh, that, the XP and gold is taking a little... A dip, little um, dip. Got a little rise out of that last the last exchange. But, uh, Probably got about 1,000 out of that. But, but still... There's it's Still, heavily uh, in favor. Six K. He's room top. Yeah. Pinging at the. I'm not quite sure. I guess he just wants to know where he's at. Uh, Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance oh, bottom took, tower. Has I, yeah, Weaver took the bottom. I mean, it was inevitable. He had he had the lane to himself. They're just letting the Weaver free farm. He's a ticking time bomb. Get some damage items up. Up. Oh, he it's went hood. The Weaver went hood. Wow. I thought he was going perseverance. Up. Oh. Look at this. Are they going to get the Lich? It looks like the Lich just overcommitted. He just got a... I don't know what exactly happened. He just threw his body there. That was important. Both those supports needed that that damage. I mean, they got a big boost in XP. He should have He should have turned and dropped his ulti. You think so? Yeah, he had it. I don't yeah. know why he didn't. He, he was playing... I think he yeah. thought only the Rubik was there and maybe the Lion. And he, I mean, he probably could have taken both of them. But the thing was, he, he had the Disables. The Disables on... Uh, well just, side. well, just the, uh, well, it, well, if if he had turned and thrown his ulti, if he didn't get a kill from the bounces, it, it would have at least made them, you know, run their separate ways, to, uh, and then he would have at least gotten away. This life stealer does have a bracer uh, and treads. Up. What do you think about the uh, hood pickup on the Weaver? That's I've never really seen that so much. I mean, they do have a lot of magical damage, so a pipe would be beautiful, and he is getting uh, most farm. So. The, it's okay. I think his oh, life stealer. He's gonna have to rage. Thought on that. Oh, was... ate the damage. Wow. <gasps> Rubik's down. Soul assumption. Not much you can do about that. Not much you can do. It looks I like they're gonna take thought, top. His thought process on. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Oh, no, no, I, was up, I think his thought process on that is just to avoid the uh, the lion nuke, but at the same time, um. Or, or not, not to avoid the line nuke, but to take less damage just because he's so squishy. Mm -hmm. But um, but I, but I don't know if you know you know with Lincoln's if they have to blow all the spells on Weaver, it's going to be um they're going to win team fights anyway because TA and TA and Troll are going to be full health, and just right clicking away. So. Pinging out the double damage. It oh. looks like they took the tier one top and now they're going to go for the entangle. They get entangle. He rages, but he's Gucci's out. He's probably away. Up. Oh, is he going to stay around? I think he should leave. Up, oh, Dyer's right here. Warded everything. They can see. No one can see them. They are totally okay right here. Lich and the troll. What are they going to do? They're going to push out on the Weaver, but the Weaver's just going to keep playing with them. They have no detection on the Weaver. The Lone Druid could go down. The Lone Druid could go down. They need to take him out. Oh, he's a away. They dusted. He already he already uh, time-lapsed. What are they going to do? They need to get a tangle. Let's come on. Oh, no entangle. And he got away. Unless he comes back around. They're gonna take the T1 mid for their Looks like they're gonna take T1, yeah. But it, this Weaver is just being pesky. They cannot take him. What are they gonna do? And he gets him. He, wow. Uh, this is just some plays. And now the team's rotating. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean that that hood is that hood is really coming clutch just because of all the regen he gets from it. Mm -hmm. So he can just he can just stay around again. and be annoying. But now the team's in. TA with the double damage and just blows up the LS. Oh, the lion gets blown up as well. Four by. And, and, and Rubik was caught by Troll. Mm -hmm. Tinker's just farming away. He's 300 away from his boots. They're going to help. His boots are going to help a lot. But to what to what avail? To what avail? Uh, Visage picks up a medallion, which I you know I, I really do like that item on Visage. Yeah, th this this really late boots of travel on Tinker is really hurting them. They've lost so much map control already that, Has I mean, 
I mean, yeah, you, you know, they, they have all their tier one still. So, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take you know, 15 minutes for Tinker to take a lane. And all the entire score. time, they're going to be pressuring racks at this point. Are they going for an early game Roche with a blink TA? I, I, I like that because you don't really need to have the right clicks right now. I mean, I mean, you have such an advantage. I, I do like the blink. I only like the blink if you're able. Oh, she has a Yasha too. So, you know, it, it is pretty good escape ability. I do like it. Um, well, well, and also uh, other than other than TA's blink, they have no initiation really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's so, true. um, I mean the Weaver. I mean so in a sense, up oh, picks up the boot to trial, but they lose Roche. Yes, WN takes Roche. And there's a uh, there's a haste bottom. Troll's yeah. probably gonna pick that up. Yep. Yep. A lich with a mask of madness. Uh, all right. <laughs> Not gonna question. Honestly, honestly, I I suspect a um, I suspect a. A, uh, they, they go ahead and go high ground on them right now. They if they maybe get a pick off or two, uh, pressuring this tower with Aegis on troll. I think I think they can pull it off. Mm -hmm. I mean, all their ults are up. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna see a Rax here. And Tinker Tinker still doesn't have a rearm, so you can't see the March machine spam to keep them off a of high ground. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with this though. Are they they're trying to push, but the creep wave's just getting cleared too fast. Creep wave's just getting cleared too there's fast. There's now a there's now a twelve thousand exp lead and a over a fifteen thousand gold mm -hmm. lead. And they're just yeah, getting pushed for, behind their wet noodles. I mean, it's only fifteen minutes into the game. All five right are above. That's a thousand. That's a thousand gold per minute mm -hmm. advantage. ESP's playing lights out though. They really are. They just they came in with a game plan and they just I, I mean it's just <laughs> This Visage taking heavy damage from the ancients. Mm. Oh, oh the troll almost died. Oh too. troll almost went down and burn Aegis. Uh, <laughs> I mean there's three stack. What they do you expect? Oh he died! Oh, uh, he, 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 Aegis. he probably wanted to though, honestly. Maybe just he realized he was such low health, whatever. He needs to get out of there though. He doesn't have lifesteal. He's only level eight. I don't know what he's doing. They have vision. They have vision. They know that he's doing that. <laughs> Life Stealer picks up drums. Uh, he a troll actually almost has his um, BKB. So you can see the item progression. That, that was, let alone that was that was pretty throwy. Yeah. Well. Ah. <laughs> Burning yeah. Aegis on troll. Now, now, now they can, now they can't really push. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they might take T two. Did that split? They might get this. There is a glyph, but are they gonna pop it? Are they gonna burn it? I don't know. Can they survive to another glyph? They burn this one. They need this. I, I can't BKB up I, on troll. Also, I can't. I can't believe Lich just didn't get an early mech and have have Visage make a uh, make a pipe. I, I mean, yeah, I guess if you just want to rub it in their faces that you're winning a lot and grab Mask of Madness, that's cool. But no. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. Seems. Yeah. Mm. Top tower has fallen. Morality. But not about it. Uh, is he gonna get him? Nope. Get the entangle. No entangle. Bear might drop. Uh, the bear might drop, and they waste oh, it. Looks like they're gonna burn the bear. Yep, they burn the bear. He does have a respawn on it. What did that have? Oh, yeah, they do have does. a mech. They have still, a mech, and it is by Mulligan. Still 300 more gold. Mulligan. 300 more gold goes. Oh, to the, the, bear. the fish the has uh, the mech, but the bear is on cooldown for almost two minutes, 110 seconds. So they really needed that second bear. Kind of just burned it. Oh, Troll picked up his BKB. Mm -hmm. That's big. Are they going to try to push in? They do have Glyph. I'm not quite sure if they can quite push in yet. They needed the Aegis. They should have burned it. They burned it on some Ancients. I mean, but, you know, we're not pros, so it's okay. Yes, some Ancients that they didn't even take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they couldn't even kill them off. <laughs> uh, still all there. It's hilarious. Uh... They're giving them a little bit of space. They're, they guess they're rotating mid is three. They're having the TA just farm up bottom. I mean, there's no reason not to. She has 2,400 gold. She's probably going Desolator. I mean, honestly, if you get a Desolator this early, like, you know, that's, ah, that's silly. Oh. Yeah, that's rough. Yep. Tinker has a soul ring. I mean, it's good, but he needs these items at eight minutes, not 18 minutes. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, <sighs> I really don't foresee Tinker being able to do any split push in this game because the, the second he goes to a lane to push it out, 
they're just going to pressure Rex, and he's going to have to come back. It's it's really it's really unfortunate that it's such a um, such an early lead for Wet Noodles mm -hmm. for uh, for the Radiant because Tinker is such a pivotal role in their game a, plan. An early early late game hero, you know, if he gets his sheep stick up with you know level three rearm, it's I mean it's uh it's really rough, but it doesn't look like we're gonna see a see a sheep stick this game out of out of him. It's such a such a bad start. Lundrud picks up a phase, putting it on the bear, I hope. Oh, he keeps it for himself. He has two pairs of phase. This Tinker is able to defend, though, with March of the Machines. That is the great thing about Tinker. You can you can stop the uphill push. We have Roshan in a few minutes. He is just farming up. 2,800 gold. What did he buy? Rubik has dust. They need to make something happen. SD has to make something happen. They need to, they need to make uh, ESW, ESWN uh, have a misstep. They just need to throw them off their game a little bit. Yeah, they they really need to regain map control and regain their jungle. They, honestly, the, um, a tower, or... a tower, one tower, mid tower to prevent yeah. Dyer having such <laughs> easy yeah. advantage to, to, to uh, Roche. I mean, just the Roman yeah. is a team though, and the Weaver is almost out of mana, but you know. All right, he picked up a sacred rail and a casual vit booster. Um, TA has a manta. I'm okay with manta. I like manta. I mean, you just needed some kind of damage item, and you know, I, I personally Deso's kind of my favorite damage item on her, but I, I don't disagree with the manta. I think it's a good item, especially 20 minutes in. Like, you, you, like, what's the point of even complaining about that? Can you can you manta out of entangle? Oh, that's a good question. You might be able to entangling claws. I think yeah, I, I think you can. Okay. I think, and, and and I think that's why that's why she she mm -hmm. went, went with that okay. with that uh, right. item choice. And Visage picks up Manta boots. I like that. And the Tinker's starting to catch up a little bit. He's a uh, fourth overall. He was sixth overall. So now that he's picking up a little bit, he's able to kind of room around the map, and he's he's kind of keeping them in the game actually now. He was shut down early game, but now he's he's kind of picking up a little bit, and they're not able to push up tower. We do have Roche very soon, though. A couple minutes. They are smoked top. Passage and Lich. Lich. I would have helm of the dom up. I would have really liked to see. For a second. I, I would have really liked to see some early pressure on on Rax. No D word. They know that the word's there. Are they going to D word? They need to D word. There they go. They're pinging it out. Oh no! Troll does not want that to happen. Life Stealer's going in. He's working on his armor. He's almost halfway there. Oh, they might get the troll. Nope. BKB's out. I would too. Lich is getting initiated on. No kills yet. Oh, there's the ulti. They're all clumped. Oh, no. They need to break up. They're just going to get eaten alive by the ulti. Oh, no. The Life Stealer might go down. Life Stealer's dead. It actually goes to the troll for the range. And they get the bear. They pick off the bear. Are they going to push in now? There's no reason not to push in. The TA oh, dove a little bit. Really hard. Yeah, she did dive. We'll see how this turns out. All three of the lanes are pushed in relatively hard. They just mecked up. They're gonna just melt this tower. Glyph is now. All right, that's good glyph. Oh wow! Finger blew up the troll. His BKB was on cooldown. They just blew it up. But does it matter? Oh, they get an entangle on the weaver, but he gets way in. The bear might drop again. That's the second bear. They can't lose that bear. The bear might drop. They entangle weaver again, and they get the life on him. They get the lift on him, and not quite enough damage. Close, but not quite enough. That hood actually has saved his life twice now. There's so much magic on the side of ST. It's just mitigated by the hood. I think, I think Lincoln's would have still been better. Oh, of course, just because I, I um, completely agree. And he's yeah, got radiance. Just because they, they would have had to blow a spell on him, and that does no damage. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know, if, if you're constantly getting hit, hood, you know, does come clutch. But Roche just with quite up. They're just with uh, warning that Templar gets a regen. It's important. Oh, blink on the... Alright, Radiance, and we figured the Radiance pick up. I, I haven't seen Radiance on a Weaver in quite a while, and I, I, you know, I really do like the build, if you can get it early, and he has it early, so obviously it's pretty beneficial. Classical, classic Tinker over here, bottom lane. He blinks away. The rotating bot trying to stop that, but, you know, they're just farming the jungle. They're not really having a problem farming the jungle of the enemy team. They just own the Radiant. Up, oh, Tinker almost got caught out. Is he gonna get caught out? He needs to get away. He needs to get away. He pinged near his location. He knows where he's at. And he blinks back. 
that's just that's smart. There's a ward right here, so they do see him, and they see the courier if they wanted to. Are they going to rotate? No, they might push. Uh, we have Roshan in less than a minute. He picked up a point booster, and he's bringing that to the Rubik. See if they can get something going on this Weaver mid. Boom. TA's Refraction eats that. They need to. A good double? Double March of the Machines is nice. I, I, I like that. It really stops all push. He might have done it too early, though. Yeah, one of them wore off and didn't even hit anybody. Two people, two of them wore off. He needs to get out of there. The bear comes in. Nothing. Soul assumption full charged. We'll see where this goes. We're having a mid push in by the Weaver. Solo. They took down the tower, so we'll see how this goes. Racks are open. They are exposed. They're split pushing pretty hard. Weaver solo split pushing. They need to kill him. The ward's in a decent location. You. You have to split push for versus Tinker. Yeah. There's just <laughs> there's yeah, yeah, really no, no other way to get to get uh to get high ground, especially with towers. Honestly, I think the sentry ward's a little placed a little too far back. Do you see how far it goes out when you click on on the ring? It doesn't quite go over. If you place it on the edge right here, it gives you much more region, like out to here. And this this we oh oh oh, oh. initiation oh almost blew him up with the meld. Jumps inside the Rubik, lifts, frogged, and it looks like the racks are going down. And there's getting a split push on the bottom. Troll's probably going to take it. Uh, power Dread's on the line, but it's almost a little too late. And it looks like mid's going down. They pushed off the uh, offensive troll, but he's solo pushing, so it only got half health. Yeah. No crit. Oh, and he got him! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Tinker's keeping him in the oh, game. Oh, wow, that was, that was really well played. Yeah, it was. Rocket, then boom. Blast. They did lose... They did get that. Okay, good. Glad they saw that. So, so what do you think? What do you think Weaver's next item is going to be with this vitality booster? You think he's just going to go heart? I was thinking that. I was thinking he's going to go earlier game heart, but he went right first. So, I mean, he has a decent amount of damage. I mean, um, I mean, it, it makes a lot. Up. The hood of uh, the hood of defiance makes a lot more sense if you know heart. if he's just going. Yeah, if he's just going heart. Oh, they get the dust off. Did they get him? They need more burst. Are they going to get the burst if he, before he can... Uh, time lapse. He time lapse. He got enough damage. Uh, the dust. They need dust again. Uh, not enough quite damage. You need to be able to push him up. Uh, the Radiance Burn. Just too much. Uh, this Weaver's playing oh lights gosh. out. And they're taking Roche. I mean, inevitable. It was up. Seven, seven and oh, Weaver. That's, that is, that that's is hard so to huge. come back from. It's hard to come back from. I mean, and, and they get so much experience if they kill him. He's level 17, and, and, and he get they get, what, 1,000 gold? Yeah, and he'll have a, over, so, he should have over a minute spawn timer. I mean, what's the point of buying back? Up, and Tinker does get the top tower to one. So he finally gets a tower 26 minutes in, which is important, but is it a little too late? They do not have mid racks, which is relatively important. We have the life stealer. Um, we he does have an right back up top lane and push that. Force a TP, Are they coming like... in on this? Oh no, no, you defend life stealer. Oh no, this life stealer. Oh no, he did rage. He raged out of it. Oh, just eat it. Just eat the laser damage. But it's not quite enough. They want to push in. I think they're going to push in mid to the bottom tower, which is honestly probably the best idea. I like that. I don't like directly pushing in lane if you already have a Rax because you can just mitigate the tower damage. You can attack from the side, and it doesn't have the back uh, back tower vulnerability. So. Invul invincibility, so it's, it's pretty nice once you break rack. They could go T4 if they wanted to, but I think they need two racks in this game. Because oh, wow, they're smoked. They're oh, smoked coming through mid and initiating a life stealer. And the life stealer, armlet target wasn't enough. And the druid's gonna drop, and oh, that's a Lich good ult. ult. That was a beautiful Lich ult. That was well placed. And I think that should be GG. That's GG. Oh, 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 Tinkerbell back, but he can't do too much. Lich bought an axe. He can't leave. T T Tinker can't leave well now. With them camping oh, here. That T oh, that T a little, a little greedy, man. Deso on the Weaver. I like the Deso pickup. They needed a Deso. I think it might be over. They glyph just saved T A with the mech. Yeah, he did. Troll ult, and uh, they're melting. Racks melting. They get Weaver. Oh, they did. They pick He's, off Weaver. Was he well. just being greedy? Was he just being too greedy? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He 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 got, he got lifted almost into well with uh, by Rubik. Oh, okay. With I laser mean, and, and lion stun. So. I mean, it's not over till the fat lady sings. So I mean, they still have a chance to like come back. I mean, it's two racks down. Wow, they are cleaning house. What happened with that Weaver down? There's just so much damage. Oh, are they gonna get to TA? 
And she does have Crystallis. And she got entangled. And she drops. Life Spirit gets eaten alive. Tia buys back. Goes mid. Lich dies. Oh no. Troll's almost up. It, it is really. It is really. Look at so this. Are we getting some throws? That. Are we getting some throws? Two racks down. Still cute. Oh my. They just blew him up. Are they going to get the lit? And they got him. That was a beautiful place. There's the TA. She's just going in. I don't know if she can get them all. Ah, oh, she picks up the lunge. She just does so much damage. Uh, the T anchor. Just getting out of there. Whatever he can. TA's pushing. It up. is really so unfortunate that Tinker got shut down early because. He is playing he is, lights I mean, out. You can you can see even I mean even now and you know with two racks down and a twenty thousand dollar I mean a twenty thousand um, exp lead and a twenty thousand gold or twenty five thousand gold gold lead he's still finding a way to get kills and God if he would have got a sheep stick if he would have had a sheep stick by now which is really a uh, you know thirty minute sheep stick is pretty standard for Tinker the um, that they, they could have they could have ran away with this game but um just the just the Weaver Weaver split push the split push at this point. Um, I think it's just gonna be too much. They're gonna get mega creeps. And, yeah, I think so. I think and, you're right uh, on that. and GG this pretty quickly. Right on the money. I was expecting GG a little bit earlier. Then they turned that around. But see, that <laughs> yeah. was just one fight. Oh, he got to, he steal the Sakuchi. That's pretty. That's pretty good steal. But that's just a Deso. He hit him once, was, and he just nearly knocked him down. Up, oh, Tinker is I was trying. expecting GG at ten zero. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at this, just melting. Oh no, TA is not letting this over. Two fifty three non crit. Oh, inherent crit. And actually, she goes down. Just greedy, greedy, greedy. Double T four challenge. Uh, tower almost took him down. The soul assumption. The soul assumption. You can soul assumption. Ah, uh, too late. Is he gonna soul assumption? He might drop. And he drops. The weaver. He gets the life stealer. Picks him off. Mm, there. Wow. The tinker. This is some defense. I tell you what. And they dropped the familiars. Rage buyback by the Weaver. That's that's rage if I've ever heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> now 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 see, TP's top. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're he's gonna push top while they pressure bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's... I mean, you you have to commit three at least three heroes to keep these lanes uh, middle and bottom from being pushed in. So you can only have two yeah. or three heroes top. I mean, but Tinker is enough. But he, I mean, he needs a little bit of like disable with him. He needs either Rubik or Lion or someone to help him like prevent this from pushing in. What's coming on the courier? We have smoke. R they might smoke in. That's it's really. I mean, this. I mean, Lone Druid. You know, not having any, not having any real damage items on the bear. And uh, well, he just picked up a mouthstorm, as we say. That. Yeah, that's yeah. not. That's a little too. Yeah, not so yeah, so, so that helps a little bit, but yeah. You know, Thirty-one minutes. Yeah, exactly. You know? You're right. You're right. And uh, and then and then this life stealer not being able to really progress past arm like I mean, it's, they just yeah. they just really don't. I mean, their carry yeah, stagnated. They, you know, they, they are, you know, radiant team is squishy, especially versus tinker nukes, but but um, they really just don't have enough damage. Yeah, they're the gonna, they're eating gonna, a lot of damage. Here. They are. They're just focusing rapid. It's actually only Weaver man mode. And if they oh wow they got the, they burned everything on the Weaver, but it was worth it. What are they gonna do? They took out the lich. Wow, they're taking it. They need to kill the familiars. No familiars. Lone, Lone Druid gets away with 43 health. Yep. Beautiful. <laughs> Their whole team wasn't there to team fight that. I mean, they are losing. I mean, the tier four towers are getting attacked, and they're gonna take the top racks. They're gonna back creep them. This is this is all they have to do. Just right click. Just right click the racks. And the game ends. There. Oh, the pair got us tangled. Up and troll is down. I mean, they are taking this now from here on out. What are they going to do? They got mega creeped. No, they still won't, they have the range racks. Are they going to get the TA? She can't blink. Oh, no. She's going to blink. No dust. No dust, but if she can blink away if she wants to. Oh, no, she's getting constantly attacked, so the blink is not getting attacked. Oh, she's going to be able to blink away right now before oh, the three seconds. machines, yep. But it, that's still doing some damage. That was so close, though. She, no, yeah, she's all right. Uh, Ruby picks up Yules, but a little too late. They have one range click, so they do not have mega creeps yet. There is a region top, but it's not important. I would like to point out that I mean, but oh I mean, wow! I mean, even if it takes them ten times, ten pushes to do 369 damage of that to take out the tier four, correct? <laughs> Still gonna fall. Yeah, they are mega, uh, nearly mega creeps. We'll see how this goes. They don't. They have, are defending pretty well, though. They don't I, have any. They don't have any Medusa or yeah. or. Uh, just you know, <laughs> they know they know somebody who can deal with mega creeps you know <laughs> this is yeah. it's just not it's just it's not a question of um if it's when mm -hmm. the radiant decides to win <laughs> mm -hmm. i mean the dire decides to win excuse me
Oh no. Tinker, she's gonna get away! Yeah, you got away. And they missed on the refraction trap. No, no wards on the entire map, super pro. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You can't do much with no wards, but at the same time, they're pushed in their base. Where are they gonna ward at? On the edge of their base? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the Ourself. radiant. The, or Radiant can't ward and Dyer doesn't care, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's a fair assessment. There's no wards on the map except for the two sentries. So... Yeah. Oh, they really want this. They just want to just blow it down. We have an engagement, and the that's Lich a, might drop! Do. But right. they haven't actually dropped it. Oh, right the Lich ult is right going right hard, though. Racks. There we go. There we go. And the Weaver... There she goes. Here goes. They've lost the Lich and the Weaver. They lost the line. Then the life sealer. So we'll see how this goes. Is it going to be a GG? Lone Drew Tinker. Nice. Actually, the uh, Rubik got it with the Sakuchi. TA's got to back out. She needs to back out. There's no reason for her to be there. There is not. Oh, the Tinker got a mid. I should have watched that. I knew he was going to do that. So intense. This Tinker is playing lights out. He's trying everything he can to keep his team in. The oh, no. Yeah. Look at this mid. Tier 4. Just so many creeps. Oh no. Thing is, TA can fight under mega creeps. Oh no, TA might be able to get at this. Tinker's taking some of the damage. Ruby's There's trying so to stay many away. mega creeps around. They're gonna kill Lone Drew. They're gonna kill everybody. Yep. <laughs> Are they? They're they're fighting they, they for the TA. They just took out Rubik. Yep. With the uh, familiars. Look out! Look how many mega creeps is chasing chasing Tinker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now there's two sets right there in the middle, taking that tier four. All, all TA has to do is run in circles, and nah. now those mega creeps will finish them. They did. Oh no, the bear might drop. Goodness. He got an entangle, but Mask not a fortuitous. Lich. OP. <laughs> Maybe. Visage gets an axe. <laughs> troll. Oh, everyone's picking up items now. I think this is over. There's no reason it's not. Yeah. Lich yeah, picked they, up a maelstrom. I mean, they can't. They uh, could honestly. They could honestly sit back in base and just wait for them to yep, mess up. We got a GGWP. Yep, I think that was yep. the captains. Good game, well played. That was well done. Good game. Yep. G G G. And then just buy him back, and it's over. Yep, well played both sides. Too strong. Very true. The Tinker did what he could, and it was overall. I, I enjoyed that game. I really did. As you can see. Yeah, it, it, it was really, it, it was really fun to, um, I mean, <laughs> to kind of see the uh, the radiant kind of struggle to turn that around. Mm -hmm. Cause they, I mean, they were doing a really good job, but they just. They just they just didn't have the levels, and they didn't have the, they didn't have the gold mm -hmm. um, to be able to do anything about it. I mean, I mean, Tinker's gameplay, um, you know, the mid towards the mid late game was amazing, mm -hmm. um, you know, and you know, and but just life sealer and lone druid being so handicapped by a, by a bad a bad early game was you know, and just loss of um, map control was really unfortunate. Yeah. That was I enjoyed that game. I'm glad that we got to cast that game. It was it was interesting. It was interesting to see ST put up a pretty long fight. They put up about 20 minutes in their base. They were sitting there about 10, 15, 15, 20 minutes. They were sitting in their base and they were able to defend for quite a while. But it just kind of overall it just yeah. it just deteriorated slowly. So it was a very just interesting 12, game. 12, 12 and four, twelve Weaver. and four Weaver, and uh, three of those deaths weren't till the very look end at his XPM six, when they were just you know when they, yeah yeah I mean yeah. just, they just I mean I mean literally the the supports, the supports on wet noodles were getting more farm mm -hmm. than the kills <laughs> of the on, radiant. Yeah, sts. Um, yeah, yeah. And actually, just... the standard played really well. He had pretty good cohesion, and he, he followed oh, yeah. what he was supposed to do. He had 500 GPM and a 480 uh, XPM. He owned Lone Druid mid. He absolutely owned him. He made him go 0 and 5 and 13. He had no yeah. farm. The Lone Druid had no farm. He had a Maelstrom and an Orb of Venom and phase two phase boots. Yep. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I thank you all for joining in, and it was a great game. Um, we will, shall see you later. Hopefully I will tune in and you will be able to listen to my stream again. Uh, this is the Frog Dog and the Dota Quota. Thank you for tuning in.